what's up everybody we are back with another video we got carmen with us and guys happy father's day and guys carmen got us a g case from j car diecast sitting back in the house we are here at fred meyer Let's see if we can fire anything let's go yeah yeah let's go I ain't the first with the curse with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth. With my it looks like we have a cars display, and uh, it's looking a little thin. Yeah, this has been picked through, ladies and gents. I don't know if you guys saw my reel or not, though. Uh, I was just here the other day, and I did come across. Some Kroger exclusives. Oh, we got Chevy Tahoe, we got the Hummer, the Audi, Tesla Model 3, Audi, and Hummer. Hummer. All right, we got the Bowser Monster Truck. What else do we got here? We got Bigfoot. Lots of leftover pop culture Batmobiles. Leftover peanuts, leftover beetles. No one wants the Batman set. Lots of character cars. No one wants the twin mills. Well, what do you see? Nothing. Nothing. All right, guys, on to the next one. We are here at Target, guys. We are very late in the day. Huh? I've been switching up our times. You never know when they're going to put stuff out. But, anyways, we are here at Target. We're going to see what they got going on. Oh, you guys buying this? 169.99 but that is pretty darn cool what else do they got going here okay they got the lambo okay they got a hurricane got all sorts of cars mustang yeah yep yep what do they want for it i think we paid like 20 or 25. Oh. <laughs> All right, the Jurassic Maybe. Park nano scene is on clearance. And uh, we have some leftover premiums. Nobody wants the Land Rover Defender. I feel like we've come across the Land Rover Defender a few times. We are going to leave this behind. So somebody got lucky and got the rest of the premium set there. Um, what else do we got here? We got some D case fantasy leftovers. Yep, that's probably the same D case there was the other day. Double pack. Uh, we got the AMC Javelin and the Volkswagen Fastback. Alfa Romeo. Okay, the Bronco. We are going to pick this up. I passed on this last time, and uh, we're going to go ahead and pick this baby up. I think this thing is pretty darn cool. And what do we got here? For the Johnny Lightning. Got all sorts of stuff that is pretty cool jada too it's, it's totally like a tuned mystery machine though all right fort ranger oh what oh we're picking this up 2000 acura integra type r Sweet. That is pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. I've never seen yeah. that before. Yeah, this is going to be, yeah, we're going to get this USDM too. It's got the US front end, left hand drive. Sweet, yes. Is a score for us. We're going to go ahead and pick up the moving parts Bronco and this Johnny Lightning Acura Integra. That thing is awesome. Must have for any collection, especially a JDM collection. Back at the crib, and guys, we've been waiting so long for this moment, or at least I've been waiting for this moment, but guys, Carmen surprised me earlier this last month with a G-Case, guys. Carmen said it is my Father's Day present, so I think it's about time we open this baby. You can see there, G-Case. Now, this is an international case. Carmen's going to grab that knife and do the honors. You've been waiting so patiently for one month. Almost. Yep, I've been waiting pretty darn patiently. See if we can't slice some cars while we're at it oh yeah nice 
I say just pull like two or three cars out at a time. Let's check them out. Okay. Let's go through this G case. All right, guys. So we do have the 70 Plymouth Barracuda. Like I said, these are international cards. You can see there it is not guaranteed for life. And the case number is not on the back. And we have one from the F case, the 71 El Camino that transferred over. The beautiful Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7 in red. That's a nice looking car. Remind me what the treasure hunt is in this box. The treasure hunt is this little yellow wagon go-kart looking little thing. Okay. So I'm sure there's going to be one of those in there. Pale yellow. Yeah, it should be bright yellow. Okay. And the super would be the Audi if there is a super. But well, either way, the mainline version of the Audi looks pretty darn awesome. We have a beautiful Merc here. That's nice looking. We have the El Segundo Coupe. We have the Mazda Autozom. Now, I actually thought this was a fantasy car, but it's actually a real vehicle that somebody built for the Hot Wheels Legends Tour. So that is pretty darn awesome. Oh, two of those already? Or is that yep, there's double of those. So you got two, two of those. You have an Audi Avent RS2. I believe we do have that for your collection already. Mm -hmm. You have a Dodge Charger SRT. Both of those two are the same. Yep, we got a Drift and Brake in green. We got double Ford Performance Supervan 4s. Packaged together too. Oh, there's another Porsche keychain. Yep, we have the Mighty K in this yellow color. We have a Porsche 911 Carrera keychain. That is a pretty awesome keychain. And we got the Fiat 500E in blue. Ooh, I see a cool car coming. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Do you already know what it is? Take a guess. Possibly the treasure hunt? No, what else? What else is in um, this? Ooh, hopefully a Civic or a Skyline. And heck yeah, it is the Skyline. It's the Nissan Skyline RS KDR30 in green. That is a beauty from the Hot Wheels J Imports wave. And we have a 19 Ford Ranger Raptor in blue. Tesla Model Y. I'm just going to keep, keep a favorite spot here. All right, we have a heavy hitcher. That's actually pretty cool. It's like a little tow truck. We have a Sizinger. We have another 70 Plymouth Barracuda with a shaker hood. I've seen that one a lot lately. Yep. In the stores. We have the Trouble Decker. The Minecart. Apparently, this is pretty popular to the uh, Minecraft people. This is the uh, 15 year anniversary car. So, I've heard of people doing some wheel swaps on these. I haven't seen it yet, but that would be pretty cool. We have a brick and mortar. Seen another cool car in here. Right. Which one do you think this one's White be? Civic. What's the inside look like? Red. <laughs> and it is the white Honda Civic SI with the bloody guts. That thing is a beaut. So I'm super happy about this because I got one already previously. Um, the only reason I think it was left behind is because the card was severely damaged. So we did an opening because I knew we had this GK. So this one has a nice card. So this one is definitely going in the Honda collection, but this thing is beautiful. I do like the gold one, but this white one is clean. The Shark Bite and another Trouble Decker. We have a Mod Speeder, fantasy car. We have a Terra Tractal, a Ford GT40. Now that thing actually looks pretty nice, not gonna lie. That's actually a good looking car. We just saw one of these Earlier, not sure if you guys saw my reel or not, saw a Kroger exclusive version in yellow. We have a BMW M3 wagon. I'm not necessarily a Euro fan, but that thing is nice. It's definitely a nice looking car. Uh, but yeah, that is a nice one for any mainline collection. We have the Rapid Pulse. Looks like a little fantasy ambulance car and a custom auto. I feel like there's a lot of <clears throat> fantasy cars. Oh yeah. Lately. We have another Seizinger Z1C. 
we have a punk rod and another custom auto. So lots and lots of doubles here. What else do we got down well, there? Well, I'm hoping for a treasure hunt. <laughs> Some more doubles. All right, so we have two Jaguar MK1s. It's not a bad looking main line. You know, if you like the old classics, it's like a little race car. It's kind of cool. It's got the Euro plates and stuff. Kind of appreciate it. Another Ford GT40. We have another Dodge Charger SRT. Another Audi Avant RS2. Pretty sure I already have that Audi. Pretty sure we got that yep. Audi on. This one transferred over from the F case as well. It's the Audi RS e-tron GT in green. This is actually a very nice color in my opinion. Carmen already has this one for her collection. You have the low lux truck, but yeah, you definitely get a couple nice Audis in this set. And that red Porsche is pretty nice too. But you know, I'm gonna go ahead and put this BMW in here. And uh, I gotta say that the, the Ford GT40 is actually pretty nice too. Got some doubles in that one. All right, we got a Batmobile, go figure. We have a Nissan Patrol Custom, another Batmobile. All right, we have a Highway Rescue. We have a 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Not really crazy on gassers myself, not going to lie. A Hot Wheels 450F little dirt bike. That's actually kind of cool. Don't think I've actually seen a dirt bike yet, so that is pretty cool. I've seen the BMX. Yep. Right. And we have a Tesla Model Y. We do not like electric cars in this house. And we have the five alarm. That thing's looking like a chase with its gold base like that. We have a drift and brake. We have another Merc in teal. 68 Dodge Dart. That thing is actually pretty sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and put that over here. One of my favorites. We have another Audi RS e-tron GT in green. We have another Terratractal. We have a Dragon Blaster. That thing is pretty crazy. We have another BMW M3 Wagon. Another Rapid Pulse. So we have another recolor of the Ford F-150 Lightning Custom in black. I gotta admit that is a pretty cool main line. You could do an awesome custom with one of these. I'm gonna go ahead and put that over here in one of my favorites. We have, this would be the Super audi 90 quattro this thing is looking pretty nice though if you ask me that thing looks great so do a little wheel swap paint a couple details on this thing you guys would have yourself a nice little personalized super treasure hunt but this thing is beautiful this is definitely going in carmen's collection audi 90 quattro we're going to put that right there the 52 chevy you guys know i'm a chevy fan so we're definitely putting that in the collection definitely one of my favorites from the set another 71 el camino Another punk rod. Beautiful 72 Stingray convertible Corvette. Gotta say that's one of my favorites out of there. All right, we have another Nissan Patrol Custom. We have a Braille Racer Twin Mill. We have another Batmobile. Holy moly, how many Batmobiles do we got here? We got two, three, Three Batmobiles. One's actually a damaged card. So, wow, three. I'm not used to seeing three copies of something in here. That is kind of wild. We have a mod speeder. What else do we got? Did we not, is, do you not get a treasure hunt in every box? There should be. We got a Volkswagen T2 pickup. That thing's actually pretty nice. Gonna put that in my favorites. And a Humvee Hummer. That thing's pretty cool. And a supercharged Earth Day car here. So we didn't get a treasure hunt. That's it? Yeah. That is really it. All right, guys. That is pretty darn weird that we did not get a Dragon Wagon treasure hunt. That is a little bit suspicious here. Especially when you have three of these. Yeah, we have three Batmobiles now. I'm not an expert, so everybody tune in below. Um, I know, of course, Mattel can make plenty of mistakes. Not every case will always be the same. They might just throw stuff up. Now, this is an international case here, um, but I usually have never seen more than two of a certain car, and there's an extra Batmobile in here. 
stuffed in there. So we got three Batmobiles. We only have one of those. And we one got of these. one Audi. It is the main line, but we got no regular treasure hunt in this. And that is super, super weird. And doubles of everything. Almost. Yeah. Comment down below. Let me know if that is something normal. Or did we really just get that unlucky with this case? That is wild. I, uh, of course, we know that there's not a super in every case. But usually there would be at least two Audi 90 Quattros. Um, no regular treasure hunt, which is super weird. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we got three Batmobiles. And Batmobiles out of all things. Guys, let's inspect this box. Take a good look at this box and see if she's been tampered with. I don't That's believe amazing. she has been. If somebody's tampered with this, they did a really good job with putting the tape back exactly where it went. Now, it's not double taped either. So the tape appears to be the first strand there's no signs of the tape that has been opened or re-taped everything is perfectly aligned i don't know what are these marks though well that's probably just shipping labels and stuff okay. but uh yeah guys this box has been sitting in here for a minute it does not appear to be tampered with so it is very possible that from mattel that we just got a case that did not have a regular treasure hunt, which is super, super weird in my opinion, and super weird that we got three Batmobiles and uh, we did not get a super, of course. Drop a comment down below, guys. Let us know if that is something normal to not get a regular treasure hunt in a case. This is our first international case, of course, so we're not sure how the international cases go, but we got three Batmobiles and we got zero regular treasure hunt. And of course, we did not get a super. The weirdest thing about this, too, is that of all the 72 cars here, we only got one card that is damaged. And that is the third Batmobile here. You can see here, she looks like she's been tumbling around in a dump bin. This is kind of sus. Kind of weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think down below. Was this case previously opened? Did they retape it? Is this a mispack from Mattel? Is this how they normally are packed? Let us know down in the comments. Chime in. We want to know what you guys think. This is kind of sus. We did not even get a Dragon Wagon treasure hunt. I was so excited for that fantasy, cheesy fantasy treasure hunt. And we didn't even get one. But that's okay, because we'll get one eventually. I just think it's odd that the one card that we have triple of, <laughs> triple of, is the one that's damaged. Yeah. What are the odds Super, of that? super weird that this thing is damaged. How is that damaged when not one other card is damaged? Not at one all? other, not one other card here is damaged. And right when you opened this, you said this card was, card was yep. damaged. Yep. Yep. Before there's not one damaged card except for the third Batmobile. Let us know what you guys think down below. We want to know. And we're back in the diecast room, guys. Let's go over our newest finds and shout out to Carmen for treating me amazing on this awesome Father's Day. And happy Father's Day to any of you dads out there. Let's dive on in. First of all, we got this awesome Audi 90 Quattro international card for Carmen's Audi collection. Beautiful car. You can see it's already here in a protector. It is just the mainline version. We also have this awesome Honda Civic SI in white with bloody guts. Now we already found this car previously in the wild but it was a really rough card so i went ahead and opened her up she looks pretty darn good we also went over to target and i found this awesome 2024 released 1978 ford bronco now i want to go ahead and open this bad boy up i really like some of the moving parts i don't know what you guys think about them but let me know down in the comments are you guys picking up some of these moving parts they're not always the best castings based off the fact that they got to make some of the doors and panels open up but I think they're pretty cool. They actually look pretty good on display, especially all next to each other with doors open, hoods popped. They're pretty darn nice. So we're gonna go ahead and push that thing out. And there you have it, right there. Plastic base is chrome, chrome front end. There's not really any details as far as the emblem and the headlamps go. We got good side details and we have tail lights. And there you have it, right there. The hood is not really staying open on its own. Yeah, the hood just flops closed. So not exactly a good one for display. The hinges are apparently weak on this one. But overall, she looks pretty darn good. Pretty cool. We'll put that down there with our Lucy's. 
We also went through the Johnny Lightning cars and got this awesome 2000 Acura Integra Type R. Now this is a USDM car, so it's left-hand drive. It's got the USDM uh, front end. It's actually in the Nighthawk Black Pearl from Honda. This thing is awesome, especially for any Honda Acura collector. I think this is a nice car. We're definitely throwing that in the collection. Another thing Carmen actually got me for Father's Day as well is this awesome Street Glow kit for our Lego R34 Nissan Skyline from Yeah Bricks. I don't know much about them, guys, um, but this looks like an LED lighting kit that you can get for your R34 Lego Skyline. And it comes with a user guide. I kind of opened it up. I didn't really look into it too much. It's got a box here that you can either plug in or run off battery power and it's got a usb and there is the harness with all the different lights that will go underneath the car as well as it looks like interior light and some tail lights but pretty darn sweet we'll get that installed and we'll give you guys an update for sure not sure if you guys saw my post or my reel earlier this week but we did get this awesome 96 hondo cord team transport now this is a beautiful hauler in my opinion and of course we are honda fans this thing is awesome you can see the drag wing right there on the honda accord it's got the roll cage that thing is beautiful love the castrol livery this thing is amazing we did see the mercedes and the porsche there as well i did leave them behind i almost wanted to pick up that mercedes c9 supercar because i really love the hauler but we might be opening this baby up in a future video we also came across a few of the neon speeders i left them all behind except for this hot pink porsche 911 gt3 now we picked this up for carmen's collection anything pink uh, just jumps out at me and screams Carmen. So we picked that thing up for her collection. And we also got this amazing Fast and Furious set. Now this is the third wave from 2024. This is the one with Mia's Integra. We got the Mercedes Benz, the Porsche. We got the Toyota Land Cruiser and the Land Rover. Now we already have these in our collection. So you guys know what that means. Yes, that is right, guys. This giveaway will be going live first thing Tuesday morning so you guys are going to have to stay tuned for that reel all you have to do is keep a lookout for the YouTube shorts guys we're going to be giving away that entire wave so make sure Tuesday morning you guys keep an eye out for the YouTube shorts you guys can find it anytime within that week and actually the next week too because Carmen and I will be going to Hawaii we'll be gone for a week so that means this next giveaway will be live for the next two weeks so you guys will have two weeks to make sure you guys go find that YouTube short and comment enter to be entered 100 free we are going to be giving away this entire fast and furious wave three and that thing is beautiful when i saw that i had to pick it up for you guys and since the last giveaway went for two weeks i knew i owed you guys and i think a complete fast and furious wave will make up for it guys so stay tuned for tuesday's youtube short we will be giving away this entire fast and furious you guys will have about two weeks to enter 100% free. We will be going live Monday night, so I hope to see a lot of you guys tune in. We will be giving away the entire Matchbox Off-Road Rally Series, so make sure you guys tune in Monday night and Tuesday morning. The official YouTube short will go live for the Fast and Furious giveaway, and that will be live for two weeks to make up for the last two weeks that I made you guys wait on the Matchbox wave, but you guys are gonna have to wait for two weeks because we are gonna be gone in Hawaii. And shout out to our buddy Justin. He actually hit me up right after hitting the Castrol Honda Accord hauler. And he let me know that there was a full set of Slide Street 2 premiums that hit the pegs. So I rushed on over to Walmart and got this amazing set of cars, guys. There is a 2023 Nissan Z. This is a beautiful 400Z. Car number 205 is the Lamborghini Huracan. That thing is awesome. Car number three of five is the 2023 Toyota GR Corolla. Now, apparently this is the chase. So if you get a zero of five, it will be in black. Also got a Nissan 240SX S14. That thing is clean. Last but not least, we have the Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5. This thing looks great in its destroyer gray color and its neon highlighter yellow accents this thing is beautiful guys this is a pretty darn sweet set of cars anyways guys let us know down in the comments if that's normal to get an international case without a treasure hunt 
And is it normal to get three of the same car in a case? Is it a fluke from Mattel? Do you guys think that somebody tampered with the case? Do you think it was tampered at Mattel? Do you think it was tampered before shipping? Let us know down in the comments. We want to know. The case did not look tampered with, but we want to know what you guys think. Kind of weird. I have always thought that there's always a regular treasure hunt in every case. Now we understand that there could definitely be some errors in the packaging from Mattel, but to not get a treasure hunt and then to get three Batmobiles and one of them just happened to be pretty damaged, like it's been sitting in a dump bin or something, pretty sus. But anyways, guys, no worries. We will be finding that Dragon Wagon treasure hunt at some point, but let us know down in the comments what you guys think. What do you guys think of all the new finds? This has been an amazing week, an amazing Father's Day. We got some awesome stuff from Carmen. We're going to be installing that Street Glow kit on our R34 Lego Skyline, so stay tuned. And guys, make sure to tune in Monday night. We will be going live to give away that awesome Off-Road Rally Matchbox set. Keep an eye out Tuesday morning because we will be posting the YouTube shorts to be giving away the entire wave of the Fast and Furious 100% free. When we get back, we will be going live and drawing winner. If you guys can, please click the thumbs up on this video. We super appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think of the finds. Also, let us know what you guys think of the G case. Is it a little bit weird? We want to know your guys' thoughts. Let us know down below. If you guys haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Ooh, like LeBron, though, or like Monza. Ooh, I'm a baller, yeah, shot caller, yeah. They love me, you can't touch me, nah, can't try.